So the Rosenwald School program was established by Julius Rosenwald. Rosenwald was a philanthropist. He was a wealthy businessman from the Chicago area, and he was interested in helping African Americans um, and just really trying to figure out what the best way to do that was. Education in particular was a focus. So Julius Rosenwald consulted with a famous African American educator, Booker T. Washington, and determined upon those conversations that the best way that he could spend his money and his capital was to improve um, public education in the American South. Keep in mind that this is an era of segregation and it's an era, era of disfranchisement, it's an era of discrimination um, rampant and legal uh, towards African Americans. So in terms of the educational system, African Americans were allocated significantly fewer funds in the public education system. So the Rosenwald School program in the very early 20th century was a way to design and build brand new schoolhouses uh, that were modern, that were clean, that were well constructed, that were built for the purpose of education, uh, that were furnished with books and desks and chalkboards and, uh, and that were really prepared for students to learn. Over 5,000 Rosenwald schools were constructed across the American South. And North Carolina was really, really, really invested in the Rosenwald School program. Over 800 Rosenwald School buildings were constructed in North Carolina alone. And Northeastern North Carolina had the most Rosenwald Schools of all of those Rosenwald Schools. This is an area that has a, a large African American population. That's one of the reasons why ECSU is here, right? So 1891. Uh, ECSU was founded as the state colored normal school. We had a three teacher schoolhouse and the reason we had a three teacher schoolhouse is because our normal school or rather our Rosenwald practice school was designed to uh, prepare young normal school students to become teachers. It was a teacher preparation building which is amazing. Our Rosenwald school is unique it is the only Rosenwald School practice school in North Carolina, and it has been in near continuous use for the past 100 years. A group of folks on campus came together and decided that it was time to give the Rosenwald School a new identity, a new life, something that spoke to its importance historically. So, um, I've been participating in uh, with a group of faculty and staff around campus and working on a plan to rehabilitate the Rosenwald School and we're going to spruce it up. We are going to create within it some exhibit space and some classroom space and some uh, seminar space. So we really want to make our Rosenwald School a place that helps to tell the story of all the Rosenwald schools in Northeastern North Carolina and something that brings them together just like uh, you know when our graduates left they went out and taught at all those places we now want to come and gather all of the stories and all those connections back to ECSU.